issue. Now let's take a look at the motherboard headers and there is a lot of exciting things going on. If you've been missing certain things from ProArt, this motherboard probably is going to give it to you. And next to these power connectors for the CPU, which you've got two 8-pin EPS connectors and then obviously the 24-pin on this side, you've got PWM fan header and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight connectors all together. In terms of wattage, there are two ampers, 12 volts, 24 watts, all of them. And as far as I can see, they don't share any curves in the BIOS. You can adjust all of them separately. And there is none of the AI or pump fans that just run 100% of the speed all the time. You can adjust everything, which is good news. Then next to the fan headers, we've got RGB headers. There's one five volt header over there and a few more on the bottom here. Two more five volts and one 12 volt in here four headers all together. Then moving on to this corner, there's some good things going on. We have a QLED here for the Dr. Debug. We can see some error codes, which is amazing. On a high-end motherboard like this, this was one of the biggest criticism of people for the Pro Art. They don't have that, whereas on the Gigabyte, you're gonna get that. You also have a physical power reset and Q flash button on the motherboard that you can hit if you needed to, as well as these status LED lights.